So Wendy, can you tell us who you are and where we're heading? I'm Captain Wendy Morn, uh, Master of the White Sky today, and we're currently going from Limington to Yarmouth on the Isle of Wight. Limited control, white sky, we have 87, 87 passengers and 10 crew. What sort of weather have we got today? Conditions are relatively windy. It's uh, about a southwesterly force five at the moment. That means it is wind against tide, so it makes it a little bit rougher. Um, but uh, a little bit of movement, so it shows that we're on the ship, but nothing too serious. And how much does a weather forecast um, play a part in you, you planning one of these um, trips across the island? It makes quite a lot of difference. Uh, it makes a difference to our speed, it makes a difference to our courses that we steer, uh, as much as anything to counteract any effect of the wind and waves against each other. What sort of weather would cause you a real headache on, on ma making one of these trips? Northeasterly winds are probably the worst conditions. Uh, Yarmouth is very exposed uh, from northeasterly directions, especially have, if you have strong tides running as well. Uh, you're literally coming out of strong tides, strong winds into into port within 100 metres. Have you noticed any um, any weather um, that's been different over the last couple of seasons? Yes, we're definitely getting a lot more easterly and northeasterly uh, gales blowing and predominantly easterly winds. The other issue that we do have is uh, easterly winds, both our birds, blows, blows us off the quay and therefore we have to put up more mooring lines, etc. to hold the ship alongside. Have you got a question for our climate scientists back at the Met Office? Yes, I do. There's one question. Uh, we've noticed that there's a change of weather when there's a change of tide. I'm wondering whether or not that's something unusual in this area or whether it's something that's more common around the world. It happens too frequently for it to be uh, just a pure coincidence. <laughs> So Charlie, here we are out on the open water yet again, and uh, we're here to answer Captain Wendy's question, which is, she says, apparently, there might be a coincidence here, but a change of weather with a change of tide. Now, is there anything in that, Charlie? There might be. It's the first time I've ever been asked that kind of question to get the link between the weather and the tide. So I asked a couple of scientists to see what their thoughts were. Most people know that a lot of the UK will see two high waters and two low waters in a 24 hour period. And it's also worth noting that there's a constant exchange between the atmosphere and the sea in terms of heat and moisture. And so a change in the tides, high and low, will have an effect on that exchange. But it does seem that we need an awful long stretch of coastline or a huge expanse of tidal flats for that really to have an effect on the weather. So Charlie, that sounds like it could be a no straight off the marks. In some instances, yeah, it's an easy conclusion to jump to, but there are a couple of instances where for example, particular estuaries would see a significant change in temperature where the sea meets river water flowing into it. And in the summer months, the different temperatures in the depth of sea level with a change of tide, that temperature difference can also have a different effect on the weather. So it may change things like coastal mist and fog or even sea breezes. So it's not a complete question to rule out. OK, so bringing this back to the Isle of Wight, do we think there could be anything in that? Possibly. It, it seems as if it may well be the geography that's more influential on the weather than the tide itself. Now by that I mean the Isle of Wight obviously has the soil and the channel separating itself between the mainland and it may be more of a fact that that position, that unique stretch of coastline has an effect on things like wind in a particular direction or indeed if there's really slack winds and they could harbour areas of sea fog and mist. So that may be more of a factor however it's not saying that that part of the coastline isn't particularly vulnerable to changing the tide as well. So I think the most likely answer is something more on the lines of it's a combination of all of these different things having an effect on the weather rather than just the tides. Thank you so much, Charlie. Well, as you can see, we've got a long way to go, so we better get paddling.